Hello, welcome to Paper Daisy Journals with Kylie. This video is a flip through of a small junk journal that I have called Tilly. Tilly has a purple, pink and sort of aqua theme throughout. She is A6 in size, so 11 centimetres or four and a quarter inches by 15 centimetres or six inches. And she has a five centimetre or two inch spine. Tilly has a fabric cover that is uh, reinforced but still has a nice flexible feel. I have um, used a silk ribbon as her closure and that's attached to this vintage doily that wraps around from front to back. It is attached at the spine, so you can actually use this part here as a pocket. On the spine, I have two um, vintage glass milk buttons and some beautiful antique glass beads in a crisscross pattern, so a very pretty spine. And on her cover, um, as I said, this does open up. It's part of the closure. There is a really cute handmade paper butterfly with a little bit of shimmer. This gorgeous butterfly is from um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Heather does some really cool um, handmade paper. And I've stuck the little butterfly there so you can just see it's a little shy butterfly and this is beautiful fabric from um, my friend Emily at Blue Linen Cottage. Um, quite a lot of the trims and fabric throughout are from Emily's shop which I will link in the description box so I won't keep saying <laughs> that it's from her shop. Um, this is beautiful Austrian lace stitched across the top and the bottom and that is also on the back so that's the back cover and lots of beads Tilly loves beads and a bit of bling but in a more subtle way so lots of beads hanging out the bottom and they sound amazing um, held closed Tilly will actually stand up on her own so even though she has a flexible cover it's not um, too flexible but you can see those little beads dripping down there so fun okay inside um, the front cover inside cover is fabric as well that's a vintage fabric and this is actually a Swiss dot lace from Switzerland it's actually cut off the top of another piece of um, Swiss lace that I will show you further along in the journal. One of my pressed flower tags. This is an original one from a printable available in my shop. And that's Tilly. And Tilly loves purple and teal, teal sort of aqua green together. So that's a little postcard and it is an original one. It does say Mademoiselle Josephine, um, but we're just going to pretend that that's a photo of Tilly. <laughs> because I named the journal before I actually chose the postcard. <laughs> a fussy cut flower with a bit of lace, and this is a um, embossed glassine bag as a pocket or tuck spot. Beautiful lace ruffle with, of course, a beaded dangle because beads are Tilly's thing. Lightly tea stained paper, a little lace cluster with a glass button, and that's on um, a folded envelope from 1868. I love the feel and the handwriting. A vintage page from a um, school book 
with a beautiful aging patina. A gorgeous piece of lace as a little flip up. This is that Swiss lace um, vintage to live by is the Etsy shop that I purchased all my beautiful Swiss lace from Pascal it has an amazing selection and I cut the bottom off and use that as the pocket on the front here because I don't like to obviously waste anything that beautiful but that's a nice big tuck spot there and each signature as you saw at the start has um, some beautiful glass beads. That little green coloured one is an antique bead. And some more of that page. Oh, so in terms of page numbers to write on, there's 48 pages to write on in Tilly. But of course, there's lots of other pages. I don't count this as a page because it's quite delicate. And um, it would be difficult to write on the other side. But, of course, you could collage or stick a photo on there. So I only really do a page count for pages that are reasonably, reasonably blank. Or if I've taken a page of writing space, I've given you a pocket to put a journaling card on with the equivalent amount of space. So that's how I do my word count, if anyone was curious. <clears throat> A beautiful lace tuck spot with a lacy card and a tag, sorry, tucked in there. I have hand stitched everything in um, to Tilly. This is the other side of that glassine bag with a fussy cut flower and another piece of lace. <clears throat> On the next signature, this is a vintage envelope. And it is a tuck spot and I've left the side open because if I had stitched it, it would be quite narrow. So I feel if um, by leaving the side open, you could actually fit something a little bit larger in there. And look at this beautiful ribbon worked ribbon. Sequins, beads and ribbon. It's the trifecta. Another beaded dangle, and this is some more of that Austrian lace. I just love how um, delicate it is. It is like a very, very fine tool. A beautiful uh, piece of lace as a page. Some original um, ephemera. I think this was for a doctor. Um, Oh, this is a bit exciting. I've just found an Australian Etsy shop called Studio Patricia S. And I would definitely link Patricia's um, shop in the description for this um, flip through. Patricia does the most amazing botanical prints. This is an original botanical print on tissue paper. As wrapping paper, um, and I have told Patricia I'm going to introduce her um, eco print shop to some junk journalers because we also love <laughs> this sort of thing in our journal and I love it especially because it's beautiful and delicate um, so you can see the leaf print on there and I have um, some more of that in the journal as well this is a wine label tuck spot from Souvenir de la France. Another lace tuck spot. And some more beads. And that's the other side of that beautiful um, paper. A Suffolk puff stitched on in the perfect colours. And the other side of that piece of lace <clears throat> fabric pocket with some handmade paper tag a handmade paper tag with some original ledger I do apologize for my voice I have sinus <laughs> because it's spring here in Australia um, and unfortunately I can't enjoy it like I used to <laughs> because it gets up my nose <laughs> The other side of that pocket 
is actually opened at the top and the side. And some lightly tea stained paper doily with a fussy cut flower and some lace. A lace ruffle with a beaded dangle. I just love that little combination. I love doing, uh, putting things together, but sometimes you just get a winning combination and I don't know, it gives you a thrill. Um, some more of that folded envelope from France, the original. I think it's from um, 19, um, 1898, I think is the date stamp. A lace cluster on a piece of um, a page from an old school book. Some more of that beautiful French, uh, sorry, Swiss lace. And another piece of lace. <laughs> Tilly loves her beads and lace. Some beads there on a dangle. <clears throat> Some more of that gorgeous um, ribbon work. I just love it. That is just um, stuck on with a permanent adhesive. An original French luggage tag with a, um, uh, it's not a Victorian scrap, it's a modern German scrap, but it is on the original tag. And it actually had a purple eyelet, which is quite unusual. And that's in a lacy pocket. A um, little piece from, I think it's Beatrix Potter. <laughs> I had a brain freeze then. <laughs> One of her books. A um, page from a book. Another beaded dangle and some more of that beautiful lace. This is another piece of Patricia's EcoPrint tissue paper. I just, oh, it makes me want to do another nature themed journal <laughs> and just fill it with that. <laughs> An original piece of ephemera and some lace. An original postage stamp tag with a little ruffle on the top. And that's in a fabric pocket. Oh, um, my, um, one of the, um, oh, do the beads first. There's <laughs> some more beads on the signature there. Um, this is a Swiss um, hanky or handkerchief, double pocket. So pocket behind and a pocket inside. And I've hand stitched that in. I just have to show you. Look how beautiful that is. I honestly, I do have um, a thing for <laughs> embroidered hankies. They, the design is just so sweet and subtle on the corner. More lace. Uh, some baking paper with a fussy cup flower and a wax seal with a penny farthing um, stamp on it. And this I actually got off the... Um, Austrian lace so it had a little rusty sort of um, um, staple and I just thought it looked really cool on the top there some more of that beautiful eco print another lacy pocket I got a bit experimental with my stitching and <laughs> saw it as an excuse to add another element <laughs> the other side of that book page and this is one of my um, original boho pressed flower tags that is also a printable in my Etsy shop <clears throat> and luckily we're at the end because I feel my voice is probably <laughs> starting to fade um, and Tilly comes with her own little ephemera pack so I will just show you that is a wax seal with a teapot on a tag a little tag on watercolour paper with a daisy chain flower. This beautiful piece of lavender um, art here is from Haley Perry Designs. I will link Haley's um, shop in the description. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, 
If not, it might be Hallie, but I think it could be Hallie. Actually, I was I pronounce it. I will correct that. Hallie Perry Designs. Um, I'm sure Hallie will let me know on Instagram if she watches this video whether I've pronounced her name correctly or not. And beautiful lavender from Hallie. Some gorgeous handmade paper from Rose Hill Paper Cottage from Heather. That is a real pressed flower from my garden. It's a little daisy and some original French ephemera. Some more of that ribbon work with a little um, flower fairy. Some wallpaper from um, Emily's shop, Blue Linen Cottage. That's a flower. Some gorgeous handmade paper from Heather. And this is sort of um, an experimental way of me collaging. I don't feel confident collaging and I, I sort of avoid it, but I really love it and I love how other people do it. Um, so I've sort of been trying to do it a little bit more myself. Look at the shimmer in that paper. So cute. Uh, these little Johnny Jump Ups or um, Violets are from my mum's garden. And here is another one. So a ruffle, some gorgeous lavenders, wallpaper, handmade paper, um, embroidery and a real flower, pressed flower. So I thought that was a nice little pack for Tilly. So I'll just tie her up. And in her ephemera pack, oh, whoops, it's all gone, it's all gone wrong. In her ephemera pack, there is one, oh, and that's the back. So they are journaling cards, two, three, four um, journaling cards, a little tag, um, and two little tags. So that is her little ephemera pack. And that is what um, she looks like from the side. Look at all those beads. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Had so much fun. So much fun. That's a very pretty backside <laughs> and spine. <laughs> okay, so that is Tilly. Um, I will link all of those shops in my description i would like to do a little shout out to my instagram friend cynthia um, i will link her instagram account um just just simp journals um because cynthia sort of inspired me to start hand stitching in my journal and i love it um i probably prefer doing that than machine stitching now because it's just so peaceful and quiet <laughs> so thank you cynthia for your inspiration Okay, love you all and have a good day. Bye.